Good Friday is that moment during Holy Week when we rediscover the significant cost paid at the cross by Jesus. His crucifixion opened the door for us to be reunited with God, our Creator. And for the Christian and Christ follower, this act of ultimate sacrifice redeems us and saves us from our sin. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 